So I'm going to be changing my Keurig, which is now red, to white. And I'm gonna do all white with um, black. I'm gonna outline this black. Um, so I got the Krylon Bright White. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's I've had it forever, so I honestly don't remember how much that one is. But this is the same, and this is the Krylon as well, and this was $6.99. I already cleaned it, and it's already dry. I am going to, I separated all the little pieces, so I'm going to be doing all these little pieces. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Let's see. First, I'm going to cover this. Okay guys, so I have, I put tape all over the rim, I put tape on this little hole, and then on these little buttons, oh I need to cut that one out. <laughs> but other than that, it's ready to be spray painted, I also put tape on the cord just because I want to leave it black. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, so um, I took a break and I actually didn't record when I was doing a couple more layers, but I did a couple more layers. I honestly I don't remember how many. I was just spraying it, uh, but I did let it set for a couple of hours. Uh, so let me show you guys what I have so far. Okay. So I'm going to take off the tape and then I'm going to cover um, the top just so I can spray paint black the rim that I have tape on right now. Okay, you guys, so that is a transformation from red to white for my Keurig. Um, I did struggle a little bit doing the whole Keurig white and then the rim black. So definitely do the rim first and then once it's dry, tape it and then do the rest of the Keurig. It's going to make your life so much easier. Um, so I... <laughs> Because I struggled, I had that little piece that I missed, so I was able to get it. I'll show you guys. That is it for this video. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I can't wait to share more with you guys. Thank you.